Hello everyone, welcome back to Game Geek, and in today's video we're going to be playing a game called Absolver. Now this is a really cool martial arts fighting game that is completely open world and also completely online. You can turn the online function off, but we're going to go online. I think it'd be really cool to do because basically this game's all about becoming your very own Bruce Lee in a sense. You choose a fighting style, you master that fighting style, you take on NPCs and player characters, and basically it's almost Set up, like, set up like a Dark Souls in the sense that you go out in this open world and there's ran random people that are going to come up and try to fight you. Um, but I think it was really cool. I recently saw the Birth of the Dragon movie and uh, that movie was awesome. And so now I'm watching Absolver and I'm just, well I'm playing Absolver and I am uh, super excited because I'm super into the martial arts type stuff right now. Uh, uh, almost makes me want to go learn some martial arts. But uh if I can't do it in real life, I'll at least do it in a video game. So here we are, Absolver. I've talked enough. Hope you guys enjoy the playthrough, and let's do this. So, our origin, we can be from the ice marshes. Does that change our appearance or something? Maybe not. Hold up. Let me actually look at the options first and see our graphics. We're on Ultra right now. I'm not sure if that's going to fuck up anything, because I don't have the best PC in the world, but, uh, I mean, it's an Alienware. It should be able to hold it. All right, we'll see. Um, so Ice Marshes, Orate. Oh, I don't want to be, be a female. I want to be a male. So the Tear, what's the difference? Is that changed like our, uh, oh, that changed our skin color a little bit. Ice Marshes, Orates, the Tear. I don't know what any of these are. I imagine they're places in this uh, world, this open world. Um, Lake Ripa, Karshi. So I guess that's just basically saying your skin color. Um, I don't know. The Ice Marshes sound cool, I guess. I don't know. Uh, haircut, straight, bob cut, attached, parted, frizzy. Are we going to be able to like change a lot more of this later or... Brush cut, braided, wild. Wait, is there a way to like turn my character's body? There's not. Okay. Smooth, slick, straight. Uh. Hmm. I don't want to spend too much time here. Honestly, the straight looks fine. No. I'm going to go with the, uh, the brush cut like that. That doesn't look bad. Light brown, copper, auburn, dark blonde, light blonde, black. Uh, I'll just go with my my uh, hair color, which is brown. So let's move on. Sorry, I nearly like burped on the mic. Combat style. Okay, so. This is the style I was telling you about. Uh, you can actually choose a fighting style and upgrade different moves and stuff and become great with that style. So here's the Forsaken. It's a balanced combat style with a slight focus on strength. The active ability is parry. So blocks complete blocks the attack. I think they put completely there wrong. That's an adverb. You can't use it there, but blocks the attack completely and stuns your opponent. So, okay. So the guy on the left is the one using the Forsaken. Okay, then you've got the Cult method, which improves mainly strength and vitality. Uh, what is vitality, actually? I actually have no idea what vitality means. So let me look that up real quick, to be honest, because I feel like that's kind of important to know what it is, you know? Vitality. The state of being strong and active. So maybe your energy? Maybe, uh... Yeah, okay, um... So that's vitality. Absorb is the ability. So you can absorb. Dis dismisses the stun of the attack. The lost health can be recovered. Yeah, that's weird. Windfall improves mainly dexterity. Now dexterity... Ah, uh, fuck. I, if I remember, dexterity is this, a similar thing to... Uh, oh, yeah. Let me just look it up again. Skill in performing tasks is better than hand. So, it makes you a little faster. Avoids and slows down the attack. Ooh, okay. I kind of like that. I actually being, like being able to like dodge it instead of like absorb or parry. I really like that. So, I think that's the one I'm going to go for is the windfall. Okay, let's do it. 
My name is not going to be Absolver. How do I... Let me just type it in with my keyboard here. Uh, my name in real life is Matt. I'm gonna go by my screen name that I use a lot, which is Ishna, uh, just because that sounds like it could be a martial artist name. I don't know, Ishna. Okay, let's do this. Okay, here we go. Not sure what the hell that just did but ladies and gentlemen we are in this game now so I'm very very much excited uh, very very much excited um, let's let's just play around a little bit let's see uh, what does that do I don't know what that does it doesn't do anything um, it didn't look like we could pick our mask did it well, hold up. Our menus, meditation, school, encounters. Okay, equipment. Oh, okay. So, masks given by guides to prospects who come to Tower Point without having carved their own. Some say the broken eye was made in homage to Simeon's scars. I don't know who Simeon and these people are. I don't know what the guides or prospects are. I know absolver means basically like you're coming to absolve things, as in... I don't know, it's like an ancient order or something I'm trying to be a part of in this game, I think. And fighting all these people is like kind of the trials to become part of it or something, I think. Uh, weapon. Okay, we can get a weapon. I didn't know that. That's kind of cool. And powers. Allowing users to heal themselves. Oh, I have heal. I just don't need it right now, basically. Okay. Cool, cool. Wait, 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 wait. Okay, I'm not in a school, but let's see. We can read everything here. I don't know what shards is supposed to be for. That's what was coming up when I was trying to do the heal thing, right? Do I need a certain number of, uh... Oh, I need two shards to do that. Okay. Um... I think... Does that mean I'm dealing 69.3 damage? I don't know. I'm 27 fast. Is that very fast or no? Probably not. Probably not yet, at least. Um, I'm going to turn off motion blur cause, just because I hate motion blur. I don't know why I didn't think to do that earlier. Oh, I know you have motion blur somewhere. 
Oh, come on. No, no, I can see the motion blur. Look at this. I can see that. No. No, we're, gonna, we're not going to do that. I don't like playing games with motion blur. Is it effects? No, it's not. It's definitely not effects, so... Damn. Wait, wait, it might be effects. I'm stupid. No, it's not effects. Sorry, guys. I'm, just, I'm probably going to edit over this. I just need to be sure that there's no motion blur on. Damn it. Oh, well. It's not working. Hold up. Let's see what auto detect does. Why is it so dark? What the fuck happened? Oh man. Alright, well, we're just gonna walk around and see what we, uh, come upon, I guess. I do like the little graphics in this game. Alright, so, woo! Okay, so that's triangle. Square is also another way to hit. Circles kind of dodge, I think. Oh, wait, hold up. Okay, so by hitting the LB button, I was able to come up with, like, tots. So that's no, no, no. That's come on. Okay. That's sad. No, I don't need that. Over over here, I don't know. Ben salute. That's probably the one I'm always going to go with. Just that, to be humble when I kick your ass. You know what I mean? Request co-op. Co stop co-op. Request stop fight and declare fight. That's cool. That's interesting. I'm gonna hold on to the Ben salute though, for sure. Like that's the one I'm gonna be using a lot. Um, anything else I can do? World matchmaking encounters, nothing yet. That's how you block right there. Oh, they're different attacks um, when you're blocking and shit too. I like how he's got that little fire thing. Okay, so we're in the plains of Adol or Adol. Should I go that way or this way? What's over here? That's pretty. I'm not going to lie. That's kind of pretty. It does look like some renderings off, but I may just mostly be my, my mostly be my computer. I don't unless like the trees are supposed to look like that. I don't know to be honest, but that's okay. I'm not worried about it. Okay, so just tap on it. Hold to change target. Uh, okay. Gotcha. Alright. Can I fight these guys? No, I can't. Okay. <laughs> Alright. What the fuck was that? Okay, well, I, I bet I can fight this guy down here, though. I'm gonna go f 
for this one first. Come on, buddy. Okay, nice. Take him out like that. Okay. Okay, we can't break through that. So I'm gonna go this way. Looks like it's kind of a... Uh, <clears throat> um, what's the word for it? Kind of, uh, you know, when a single player is like pretty straightforward, li linear, okay, kind of linear right now, but we'll see how it gets later. Your combat deck has four stances. Each starts with different attacks. Enter each stance once. What? Okay, so lock on. Oh, that what? What? That is awesome. So that's that one. It's like whoo. More like of a, more of like a, change, uh, okay, so alternative attacks change your stance, allowing you to change smoothly with other attacks. Okay. That definitely changes the stance. Okay. And then you can also manually change it. That's, that's dope. I'm not going to lie. Like, they each have their own little skills and moves and stuff, too. I didn't think there was going to be that many moves in this game, so that is pretty cool. I'm not going to lie. All right, cool. What's down here? Some attacks have a special property. Oh, okay. Nice. Guard, obviously, too. Woo! Woo! Come on, baby. Come on, baby. <coughs> ah, fuck. <coughs> ah, fuck. He got me. There it is. There it is. All right, what's that mean? The, the three little things that came up. What was that? Guards also allow you to cancel attack if pressed immediately after attacking. Okay, that makes sense. Can I break these? Oh, okay. Fuck. <laughs> Fuck you. Oh, okay. There we go. I was going to say, we should be able to break uh, glasses. I want a weapon, to be honest. Come on. Okay, maybe I can't break that glass. Or maybe I just have to come at it differently. No, maybe not. Don't notice anything in there. What is that on my body? What the fuck is that? What? What the hell is that? Uh, I don't know. Okay, so guard also allows you to attack. Okay, so. Okay. Okay, I see. Uh, man, I'm so excited to become the next Bruce Lee. Because you can actually, like, start schools in this and teach your martial arts to other players. Like, that just looks cool. Guess I don't need to use the health thing yet. What is it? Anything? Anybody in there? No? I guess it would tell us which doors we can actually break through, right? I mean, I feel like it would. That's how to dodge. Okay. Of course. Shit. Woo! Okay, I wasn't expecting two at once. Ow. <clears throat> Woo. Ow. Damn. Ow. 
Get your ass back, girl. Okay, I was trying to heal, but that didn't work. Ow. Ooh, nice dodge. Ooh. Okay, I'm getting the hang of it now. Like, you really have to dodge at the right moment, you know? Ooh. Ow. Come on, baby. Ooh. There it is. Right in the face. He was just like, pop. He just took his left, back of his left hand and backhanded that bitch. Damn. Okay, so... I'm definitely getting the hang of it. You really gotta string those dodges in there. Um, it's, it's definitely a little difficult. Like, it's, I, something tells me it's gonna get hard. Something tells me that's a player character. Is there a way I can get over there? Maybe not. Damn. That's kind of cool, though, just to see that out there. That's interesting. I don't think I've ran into any player characters yet. Yeah, it would say so in the left right there, I think. Oh, I gotta remember to bow every time I beat someone. <laughs> What is this? Find and defeat Salon to get past there or something? Maybe? Okay. Salon, where are you? Or Silan or whoever the fuck you are? Ah, nice. How did he break that? That was solid. I'm not gonna lie. He broke that pretty well. here I love this Wind Waker style I'm not gonna lie ow ow double in a row that was nice all right let's check out this meditation uh, what does meditation do so meditation is how we upgrade okay okay so we've got set six, we can upgrade that and it goes 0.1 over there if you see it changed from 69.3 to 69.4 that's kind of nice uh, dexterity puts it up to 69 wait did what oh that actually increased really nicely like that increased the damage a lot more than the uh, my strength did okay so let's actually read this uh, building strength is not a matter of getting muscle volume or mass it is about channeling the energy of both the body and the mind for maximal power that makes sense in increased damage of attacks based on strength. I think I agree with that. N not gonna lie. Okay, so dexterity. Developing one's dexterity was an important tradition in the Edel Imperial family. I don't know who Edel is, uh, or Adel, or however the fuck you say it. Uh, who valued grace and precision in movement. Increased damage of attacks based on dexterity. Okay. Based on dexterity. Increase maximum health is your vitality. That makes sense. Vitality is really about learning to tolerate pain and trauma. Um, it is more of a state of mind than a phys physical limit. Increase maximum health. Okay. Makes sense that a uh, martial arts game would say stuff like that. Um, <clears throat> you know, that it comes from the mind and stuff like that. Uh, having a good resistance to effort is important for warriors and workers alike. Increase maximum stam stamina and therefore allows one to chain or guard more attacks. So you can get more attacks in. Stamina is nice. Okay, I do need a... I really want a lot of stamina and I want to be really fast. I'm not too worried about the health. I do want a little bit of health, you know, just to be careful. Um, but for the biggest... I really want to be just strong and fast, but... I don't know. We'll see. Because I think the build I'm going with is definitely going to be a guy who, like, super fast dodges, gets glicks in here and there, you know, and you can't touch him kind of shit. Um, so, endurance... We already know about that. Uh, will, storing and releasing tension and charge requires a significant mental effort. Okay. Increase the quantity of tension caught and stored in a shard when performing a successful defensive ability. So if I perform something defensively successfully, my shards refill at a rate of times 1.5. I don't know what that actually means. I don't know what the shards are for, so I'm not too worried about that yet. 
Mobility, a warrior can choose to wear heavy protection at the risk of being slowed down or lighter equipment but be less protected against enemy attacks. Mobility results from equipped weight. Increase damage of attacks based on ability. Increase stamina recovery speed. I wonder if there's a way I can... Huh. Is 27 good or no? Alright, oh, it's not Let me move over to those things. So I think I'm going to start... Get my stamina up a little bit maybe. And then go for some health. Yeah, I think that's what I might do. Yeah, that works. Wait, how do I... How do I, uh... Do I hit start? Like, what the fuck am I supposed to do now? No, I don't want to lose all my changes. How the fuck do I get past this? Oh, I see. I didn't see the okay there, there, down there at the bottom. Okay. Now I get it. You gotta hit okay. Duh. But I'm gonna look back. Oh, it's not letting me look at the other stuff yet. Ah, that sucks. Okay. Well, that's it for that. Let's cross this bridge and see what's over here. But you see how I mean, say it look, kind of looks like Dark Souls? It's like an open world for here. You know? While locked, it's just move the R. I figured. Ah. I like that dodge though. Get out of here, bitch. That's right, son. Alright, so it's just like... Okay. Ooh, okay. And that j jump high, jump low, right? I like that. That little jump up and then sidestep back. Woo! We'll come in with the kick after that. Okay. That's nice. What is that sound in the background, though? I can't open this. Cool. Uh, do I want to go that way or this way? See, now we're starting to get a couple different options here. Came right behind you, boy. Oh, nice. Nice duck. Ow. Trying to string moves together to make it, you know, to actually get, get good at this game before I need to be good, you know? There we go. Ah, oh, shit. Shit. Okay, come on, come on. Come on, Salon. Oh, there's the guy I was supposed to kill. Salon. Okay, this must be a boss then. Alright. Fuck, we both went in there. Fuck. I'm not blocking as much as I should be. Fuck. Damn, Salon. Get out of here. Damn. It seems like I've been having to finish them off a lot with that uh, palm strike at the end. Um, definitely. Like... <laughs> Why is this shit so hard to fucking break? And there's nothing in it. Like, come on, give me something. You can't break the small one, apparently. That one's already broken. Can I break that? I don't even know what I can break. They didn't really tell us. I, w I do wish there was a jump feature. The only feature we got for that is, like, when you're locked on, you can jump to, like, avoid things. Besides that, you don't really get a jump feature, which kind of sucks. Let me go through here and see what's down here first. Oh, that just brings me back out here. Oh, well, okay. Well, we defeated Salon, so... Okay. Well. That was interesting. Let us uh, continue, I guess. What is this guy? <laughs> you a bad guy, bro? 
No, you're not. I can actually talk to you. See, this is also kind of like Dark Souls, how you have the little characters in between you can talk to in different parts of the world. Um, I am Talon. I will try to help you as you progress, but if you lose yourself to the... Wait, hold up. Ah, oh, damn it. Those who wear the mask are not all your enemies, you know. I will not attack you. Okay. When you are safe, you can enter meditation and practice your... Practice your combat deck. That's what basically was saying. Hold up. Okay. So we can meditate and actually practice our moves. That That's kind of cool. That's pretty fucking cool. I'm not going to lie. I'm already level 2. Check that out. The bare hands deck. The war gloves deck. What? What does that mean? The sword deck? I think these are all locked though. Sword's got 79 damage. That's nice. Alright, let's practice. Oh, what? Okay, so there's all kinds of different stances in your combat deck. Damn, okay. So I've got this one here that's 41 damage. I've got this one here that's 60 damage. This one here that's 52 damage. Oh, I can put another one there. Okay. Okay, hold up. I can switch my alternative. I can switch everything out. Oh. Okay, I get it. So this one's an attack sequence. I don't know how to use this attack sequence. Oh. Uh. Oh wait, hold up. Do I have to move that like that? Cause that looks like the R2 thing or the RT thing or. Yeah, that looks like the RT thing. So you should be able to like, that's just staying in that combat stance maybe. I don't really know. So how about a kick to a finishing... Oh, that'd be... Wait. That one's already... Oh, uh, wait. Hold up. All my stuff is already kind of equipped right now. I wonder if I can get one that's not equipped yet. Okay, these, these are the ones that aren't equipped yet. So let's start with a kick like that. And finish with a kick like that. Yeah. I don't know how I do that, but... Okay, so this is the top corner. That's bottom triangle. Top right corner triangle. Uh, well, Y. I was playing with an Xbox controller, but bottom right corner Y and... Uh, okay, it's telling me right now about what he's doing. So you got to go from the right corner to the bottom left corner on that as you're striking with triangle. Same thing with that one. That one needs to just go up to the right as you strike with triangle. That one needs to just move over to the right. I think that's what it's trying to tell me uh, by hitting uh, Y. And then that one needs to go from the bottom all the way to the top. Okay, okay. I think I got this. That moves up. That moves a little up. Okay, okay. I think I got. I think I understand what we're doing here. I think I get the hang of it. Um, tips. Attack recovery can be canceled by performing another attack at the right timing. Do not spam. The timing depends on the already initiated attack. It is feedback by a light, light blink on your character. The stamina gauge has also a precise feedback of this timing. So it's really all about timing and when you got to know to block and when you got to know to strike and stuff like that and to use special attacks. So this is going to be a super fun game. I'm not going to lie. I'm pretty excited. 
allowed you oh okay so this is what the shards do the tension shards allow you to use powers and draw the weapon you equipped tension shards refills when you perform successful defensive actions or take damage okay so i gotta block a little bit to use my special powers or to pull out a sword basically uh that's that's interesting uh powers you can use equip powers when you have enough tension shards uh, i don't know if i have enough you can summon your equipped weapon when you have enough tension shards weapons have a durability once broken it folds back in your inventory and cannot not be used until it has been fully restored so you gotta restore it disarm you can be disarmed if you take too much damage in a row when disarmed your weapon falls on the ground free for your opponent to take so if i see somebody with a nice weapon i'm wanting to like attack them as much as possible and uh try to you know actually disarm them you know so i can get that weapon and if i have a nice weapon and someone's coming after me i need to make sure i'm on the offense so i don't take so much damage or at least defend myself well uh damage bonus weapons give different damage bonus depending on the attack's combat style the damage type the total damage of an attack with a weapon is split between blunt and cut damage cut damage chips health even through guard the weapon defines this repartition Cut reduction, guarding with a weapon protects against cut damage. Cut reduction defines how much cut damage is prevented. Mobility, the mobility acts as an attribute and depends on your equipped weight. Mobility impacts movement speed and stamina. Attacks can deal more damage with a better mobility. Attack damage can be increased with the strength, dexterity, and mobility attributes. Each attack has a specific set of attribute grades. Uh, attack learning you can learn new attacks by defeating your opponents that's interesting successful defensive actions on an attack gives you temporary temporary attack xp for it when you defeat your opponent you validate this xp rush is not what is rush what is rush supposed to do is that supposed to be rush or that's definitely rush right Yeah, yeah, that's rush. Fuck you, nigga. Okay, got it. Lock, we know how to lock. Stances, you have four stances. Stamina, we know attack. We know sequence attack, square, or an X and triangle. I'm used to PS4 for some reason. Uh, guarding an attack prevents damage, but costs dam- co It does cost stamina. Okay, it costs stamina just to guard, okay? To block. Dodge and tackle will be before just before. Okay, side dodges work well on thrust and vertical attacks. Good to know. Parry. The Forsaken combat style is the ability to parry. That's not Forsaken. The windfall. Okay, this is a void. Um, input the right direction at the last moment. Down to avoid high attacks. Up to avoid low attacks. Okay. So I'm going to be like Bruce Lee. They dodge and shit. That's going to be awesome. Okay. I think this is really all we... St stagger combat style has the ability to launch attacks. Okay, I don't have stagger. Yep, LT. Spend attribute damage. Comment, I change cost style and check your attack learning stat. Oh, you can actually change your whole style in meditation. That's cool. Right, so I can learn several styles, maybe. Attack recovery can be canceled. By okay, so I think that's it. Let's actually practice. Cool. Um, awesome. Like, meditation is all about doing shit like that. I wish they'd let me get the third one, but I'm sure they're gonna show me it anyway, so. Yeah, let's uh continue on then. You ready to fight? You after me? Ah fuck, I blocked that too early. Nice move. Oh, oh, oh! You nothing to me, bro. I accidentally hit the wrong button. Like I hit that, and I was like, "Fuck!" Oh wait, hold up, hold up, hold up. Where's your body at? Oh, did their bodies disappear? All right. Oh well, I'll still bow to the ground, just to say, "Hey, you were a good fight," or something. That's how you heal. That's cool. But it doesn't heal much. I know. Wait, no, it's gonna about to heal my whole health. Okay. Rush is basically just to run faster. Oh, that's cool. I can still control my character in that cutscene. <laughs> Alright,
Definitely almost like a Borderlands-esque uh, graphic style, which is kind of neat. Um, that's so pretty though. It, it really is. The colors are nice. Just try not to fall down there. <laughs> it's an interesting little area. I wonder if it's going to stay this linear or if it goes more open world. because. If I remember correctly, it's supposed to be kind of open world. I don't know. We'll see. See if I run into player characters. Wish I could jump over there. What is this? It's like an altar. Okay. Wait, hold up. Let me talk to you first before I activate that altar. To become an Absolver, you will have to prove your worth and defeat Razirin in the Hanging Gardens of the Tower of Adol. Is he supposed to be the strongest guy or something? But first, you must beat Coretz in the Colosseum, kill Nora and her brother Cargo in the old Bort Birdhouse, and the six marked ones roaming the city in the forest. Okay, so you have to defeat a lot of people, basically. Only then will the stone gate of the Imperial Tower open. Okay. This headstone will show your remaining targets. Beware of these foes. They will not be defeated easily. Right. Wait, so you're saying this headstone will tell me? Oh, wait, hold up. Maybe I gotta activate the altar to see. What? Combat trials. Hold up. A traditional death duel to the death to determine the most valorous combatants. Objective, kill your opponent three times to win the game. Okay, cool. So it's just straight up just 1v1. I wonder if you could, like, invite a friend to, to fight in 1v1. That'd be cool. Uh, social encounters. Allow seamless encounters in the world. Leave other players a close group to seamless encounters. Oh, cool. So you can only join. You could actually make it where it's join invitation only basically so where you can play with just your friends that's cool or you can find a group really huh okay um i'm thinking i'm gonna want to try out the combat trials real quick let me see what i can do here i'm not very good yet so beware don't expect me to be great you know Kyle Kazelenko. All right, Kyle. You're about to be the first one to lose, boy. Okay. I like that. You're just like, let me get ready. He looks like he's way farther than me. I'm scared. Ah, shit. I don't know what level he is. I'm doing all right. Ah. 
Ah. I need to get out of this. I need to get out of this. Looks like he's strong when he's uh, just boxing, basically. So I need to get out of this. Alright, Kyle Kozilenko, let's go round two. What the fuck was that? I am not very good yet. Oh my god, this is terrible. This is horrible. Ah, damn. I can't get an attack off, bro. Damn. I really just cannot get an attack off. That's basically the problem here. Damn. This is terrible. This is fucking terrible. God damn. Bullshit! He's fucking great. God damn, that guy was fucking great. That was terrible. Shit. Oh my god, I don't know how the fuck. Oh uh, yeah, level 15. Thanks for fucking making it even. God damn. Alright, yeah, I was gonna say like... Why the fuck is this so fucking hard for me? I'm like level 3 going up against a level 15. Like, I haven't played this game enough to know what the fuck, how, like, how he's even beating me yet, you know? Um, but the game's all about reading different uh, players' stances and kind of seeing, you know, what they're going to come with. So it, it almost would be great to get really good at this game would be to, like, learn every single fighting stance and every single style so that you know exactly what they can come with and then, you know come back with it you know basically like, there's nothing else to say like oh hold up no guys stop 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 i don't want to fight you guys those are definitely players they're probably just sparring i'm going this way <laughs> fuck that right like i just got my ass kicked i'm good for now i'll fight some players later Just look how beautiful this place is like it almost gives me uh like mem not memories but like just reminds me of uh worlds adrift like the, the 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 graphic art style and stuff like that like definitely definitely looks like worlds adrift that game where you know you can build a ship and fly places and stuff you know what i'm talking about so i'm at the tower of battle behind me no Okay, that's weird. I don't know why it's making those sounds. Oh shit. Hold up. Hold up. Ow. Get out of it. Get out of it. better fuck 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 there we go there we ah fuck come on come on come on. baby hit him with the fucking ah, i fucked up I should have ducked. There it is. No, I thought that was it. I thought you were done. Son. 
Ow. Damn. Fuck you. God damn. Let me heal real quick. Shit. I'm just gonna, I'm literally gonna be that guy that waits until my health goes all the way full before I, uh, you know, get on this guy, basically. <laughs> oh, it's not gonna pull it fully heal. What are you doing, bro? You look like you're sad or crying or something. Oh, nice block. Uh, keep hitting the wrong button. Nice dodge. Nice dodge. Real nice dodge. Come on. There it is. Ah. Fuck off. Ah, fuck off me. Fuck off me. Fuck. <gasps> Bullshit. How do you block that, uh... My fuck. Um, how do you block that a uh that that jumping strike like punch strike? Like that is a solid strike. And I have no idea how to block it. Am I gonna fight a guy over here again? No, cool, cool. It's just the just this guy. Okay. Come on, man. Come into the light. Come into the light, baby. Come on. Come over here. Fuck. Come on. Come over here. There we go. Ah. Fuck. What kind of style was that? Like, god damn. Come on. God damn. Ugh. Ah. There it is. Woo. That was a tough one. God damn. That was hard as shit. I wish I had a weapon. That'd be nice right now. Just, holy shit, that was hard. Yeah, it's a little lin linear right now. Maybe that's how it's supposed to be. I don't know. What's up, man? Oh, is this another guy at the altar? Maybe another like, character? Another player? Do we use these to save or something? Oh, but I can meditate. Oh, I have three points. Okay, definitely. Let's put some one, one on just... Vitality, bring another on endurance, and uh, bring one on strength, I think. Yeah. Actually, no, let's bring one up on dexterity. Yeah, that works. That works. I wish I'd take some other ones down, that'd be nice. Need to remember to uh, hit those meditation spots to actually, uh, you know, gain some points. So which way should we go? I mean, we have a couple different areas here. We've got this one over here. Wait, no, no, no. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. I wanted to just look. I didn't want anyone to fight me yet. Damn. This is a neat little area. Fuck you. Well, that might be a player. That might actually be a player. Actually, you know what? I kind of want to climb higher first and just see what's at the top of this thing. It looks cool. Yep, here we go. Prime Disciple of the Golden Bottle. Let's do it, Jin Mesca. I don't know if this is a player or an actual, like, uh, boss. I'm thinking it's a boss. But you never know. Ah, fuck. Fuck. No, 
Nah, fuck you. Fuck you. I'll be back. Fuck, I don't have enough shards to heal myself. I'm totally fucked. Alright, come back here. I ain't done what you get. <laughs> I went down he got me as soon as I went down as like there was no coming back from that that was nice he read me right he read me right but now it's just uh it's gonna be tough it's gonna be a tough one I'm assuming anywhere I go there's gonna be more to fight so might as well take this one Ooh. yeah there's definitely a boss the player wouldn't stick around Damn it. Get the fuck back. Ah, oh, bullshit. This guy's hard as fuck. What level are you? Die. God damn. Oh, you got a sword too? What the fuck? Ow! Did I just die? I, th I just fucking died again. Alright, you know what? Maybe this guy's a little too hard and we have to come back to him later because holy shit, I am not ready for this. God damn. Looks like altars are checkpoints too now that I'm realizing. Now that I, you know, because I just spawned by it twice, it makes sense. That other player's gone. Man, do I go that way for that guy waiting for me? Or do I do I go in there? I don't know, but this looks like a good a as good a place as any to uh, go ahead and give a pause on this uh, playthrough. Uh, check out the next part. Should be up soon. Thank you so much for watching Absolver. If you guys like this game, I'm definitely going to keep playing it. So, uh, like I said, subscribe so you can catch more videos of that. Um, I've also got a couple other videos. Amazing Eternals. The bit closed beta's out. Uh, going to be playing that. Uh, Sonic Mania, lots of other stuff. So stay tuned on Game Geek for more stuff, as well as uh, Koji, I believe, is playing Destiny. And then when Destiny comes out for PC, I'll probably be playing that. So lots of cool stuff coming out. Thank you so much for watching. Like the video if you enjoyed it. All that good stuff. Comment down below. Subscribe for more. This is Game Geek. Th Game Geek. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.